Hi guys! Today I will be canning and showing you how to can cream cheese. Uh, yes, you can cream, uh, you can do the cream cheese, you can do certain dairy products canning. It's not FDA approved, but it's my kitchen, my rules, and if it's done properly, correctly, in super sterile, clean environment, it is absolutely safe. Uh, cream cheese, you can keep in the refrigerator a couple of months. You may try to freeze it, but again, freezing dairy products, uh, when you defrost it, they, they get that little greedy um, texture to it. But with cream cheese, if you can it, you can keep without the refrigerator for 18 to 36 months. Can you believe that? 18 to 36 months completely safe. I use cream cheese for a lot of sauces. My family loves bagel, cream cheese, and lox. I do it for some cakes when I bake for holidays. Um, and it's a good staple to have in your pantry. It doesn't take a lot of time and it does not need to be pressure canned. But one step at a time. First and foremost, when I received my jars, I put them in the washer. They're being right now sanitized. I don't know if you could see it, it says sanitize. Once they are dried, I'll pop them into my oven for another 20 to 25 minutes at 225 to dry them out and to make sure that it is sanitized. While it's being done, I am bringing my cream cheese to room temperature. The stove is not on, but I'm keeping it's going to be at room temperature. It will be easier to soften it. And... Um, Cream cheese, everything is getting expensive. Everything is disappearing from shelves. I stopped by supermarket yesterday. I, there was no lettuce. And I've got the last 12 bricks of cream cheese. So I will be, I will be preserving it. Um, once everything is done, I've got my tools ready here. I've got my uh, spatula. I've got my magnetic stick. I've got my chopsticks. I will be showing you what it's for this is for the cans don't laugh but it's called ball grabber uh, be nice and this is going to be my mixer my hand mixer i will um soften the cream cheese make sure there is no lumps and clumps anyway i will be back as soon as everything is ready to be put in jars so now that um my jars have been sanitized and they are dried. Let me show you. The steam is coming off there nice and hot. I will keep them in there. Um, I decided not to do them in the oven because they will be drying at the extremely hot temperature in my um, washing machine, my dishwashing machine. Um, under high steam, it will be sanitized. Meanwhile, my cream cheese has softened to room temperature but I need it to soften it even more because we have 12 bricks and we need them to be as smooth as possible so I used a um, water bath I warmed them up and it's nice and smooth I will be using my hand mixer to um, give it even more smoothness and as soon as I'm going to start filling the jars I will be right back Please bear with me, guys. I'm doing, I am my own director. I am my own uh, actor. You name it. So now I'm going to be beating it up now that it's nice and smooth and easily mixed. Give it about two minutes or so. Not too much. Okay. Here we go. We want to eliminate as many bubbles as possible and as many um you know those, those little rough edges here we go okay look how nice and smooth it is see that okay uh meanwhile this is my canner the canner can be used as a water bath you could cook in it but i prefer to do water bath um and um and or canning here it is. It's a huge one. It's 16 quart capacity. And um, I'm going to be using 
eight ounce jars, eight ounce jars because one because one brick of cream cheese is eight ounces. So that's what I want to fit into one jar. Um, when I'm ready to start packing cream cheese into jars, I will be back. I'm taking like in short segments. Please bear with me. And if you have any questions at any point, please don't hesitate to message me on Facebook, on Instagram. If you know my phone number, those that do, feel free to call me for consultation. Um, and I'll see you in a few minutes. Alrighty, guys. So now the main part, the fun part. And before I continue, I want to show you all of my prep station again. I've got my spatula to debubble. I've got my magnet lid lifter because you don't want to contaminate lids with your hands. I've got some chopsticks and I'll show you why. I have my bowl grabber. I have my lids. These are lids. Okay. They're sanitized, but I will wipe them again. These are the bands, and I'll show you how to use them too. And I am going to show you how nice and smooth this is. All the bottles on the wall, not so out. It's going to be easy to put in the can. I'm sorry, in the jar. And we're about to begin. And by the way, how do you like my apron? I never owned an apron in my life until I started canning. This girl has gone country. Anyway, let's do it. So we are going to take a spatula, any kind of a spatula, and we will start putting this in the jars. Okay, usually they're calling to use this kind of a funnel. It's a really wide mouth funnel, but I don't see a reason for it. I mean, it goes nice and smooth. This is a wide jar. There are regular smaller jars opening. This is a wide jar. So here we go. And we're going to put it nice and gentle. Take your time. No rush. And that will fit about... We're going to tap it. And now we're going to use this to debubble. You see these? So we're going to debubble, nice and gentle. Better yet, I think we're going to do it with chopsticks. Let's try to see how it's going to work. Make sure there are no splinters there. I see a splinter. And I'm going to desplinter it. Okay. We don't want any, we don't want any splinters in your... And we're going to start debubbling. Getting rid of all the bubbles. See that? All these bubbles, they're going to be gone. Do it very gently. Okay. So let's do that. I think I put a little bit too much. So I'll take it off. Please, like I said, this is my first time around. Bear with me. I'm a work in progress. Okay. Make sure nothing is in there. No bubbles. Check the bottom. Okay. So we've done that. Nice and smooth. Now, what I will do is very, very important. Very important. We're going to take with another clean chopstick. We'll take the edges off like this and then important moment I didn't know that but it's a good point you're gonna take a half a paper towel you're gonna take plain white vinegar you're gonna wet that paper towel and you will wipe the rims because you want to seal this can so there is no air and it's vacuum sealed and then you're going to take a dry one a dry dry one see that and you're going to go again like this and make sure 
make sure there is nothing on it. And we'll do it again. Extremely important, do not touch it with your hands unless they are super clean so you do not contaminate your product. Now I will take my magnet stick. I love this part. I'm going to take this magnet. Let me do it again. See them? See that? I'm going to pick it up like this, okay, and I will place it on it, it stays, and then we will take a band, and we'll place this band on it, just finger tight, do not wrench it, you know, hard, just finger tight, okay, and this is what I'm going to do. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to show you. I will fill all the jars, and before I put them in that pot that it's steaming already, before I put them in, I'll show you how I put them in. So I'll be back. So I filled all of my jars. I don't know if you could see it here or not. Let me show you. And I've placed them on this canning rack that I will submerge in boiling water that is boiling right there. And out of the 12 bricks of cream cheese, I've got three, six, ten. I have 13, 13 jars. And the reason it's not 12, it's because I did not fill them all the way to the top. Because from here to here, it's eight ounces. I filled it up to here. So, baker's dozen. Anyway, I'm going to put this in there. I will bring it to boil again and let it boil, cover it up with two inches of water. Can you see? It will go in the canner to make sure that it's submerged under two inches of water. I'm going to bring it to rolling boil and let it boil for about 25 minutes. Once it's done, I am going to let it rest for 15 minutes. Then I will lift it let it rest another 15 minutes before I actually put it on the towel. But first, first thing first, let me go ahead and put this in the canner. Uh, I don't know if you could see me or not. Um, please be patient with me, guys. I don't know if you could see me do that. And it's going very gently. Perfect. I am so good. Perfect. Um, let me bring my camera around so I could show you. Hang on. There we go. Now, look at this. See, it's perfectly underwater. I just made it. Let me add a little bit more. I boiled some water just in case in here. And you do want to add, if you do add something, Make sure that you add boiling water. Okay, so this is done. My cans are done. And I will be setting my timer, once it comes to a rolling boil, to 25 minutes. And I will be back when I am ready to lift them up. So I'm back. 25 minutes are up. I'm going to turn it off and very gently, very gently, you want to take the lid off away from you because it's streaming. Oh my God. It's very, very hot. Always lift the lid away from you. I don't know if you could see me or not. And I'm going to let it rest for another 15 minutes without taking it out. Once 15 minutes are passed, I will lift it out of the water and let it rest another 15 minutes before I put it on a towel or on a rack to, to cool off. 
the process is time consuming however you don't need to stand uh, next to the pot and watch it all the time um, while it was being boiled and um, and cooked and pressurized I did a lot of things I did some of my work I talked to some of my clients I've uh, I have a couple of people that have joined my program and I'm happy to say that so it's pretty easy um, and it's healthy I will be back in about another 15 minutes so the 15 minutes are up and I'm gonna lift the rack and let it rest for another 15 minutes just give me a second yes I know And we're going to let it rest like this. Let me remove the phone from here and I will show you. Hold on for a second. And you see this? It's resting. It's going to rest for another 15 minutes. Let me set it up. Okay. And I... I will be back. Okay, so the last 15 minutes are up. I will be taking out my jars from the water bath and we're gonna be putting them right here on the clean towel. Let me adjust my camera so you could guys see this. And here we go. I just want to show you what it looks like. I probably can do that. Um, yeah. I don't want to ruin it. So I'm going to be using bowl grabbers. Watch me. And one. It's a very useful tool. So now I have 13 half pints of canned cream cheese. Some of it has already sealed. And how would I know it's sealed? I heard ping, ping, ping. That means when it started cooling down, it created that vacuum and it pulled the lid in. And that's when you hear the ping. How do I know? How do we check? I will show you. I have a can of... Um, pickles that I did I did not can it under pressure I just put a lid on it it has salt in it my and this is listen to the sound listen it's a dull sound now listen to this sound hear the difference let me put this over here and bring the volume up. listen again listen again sealed not sealed all right you guys sorry we got interrupted a little bit so i wanted to show you the difference between sealed and not sealed again this is pickle it has not been canned under pressure or otherwise i just put pickles in there with salt and garlic and herbs that's for my use listen to this very dull sound and the lid is popped up now listen to this ouch that's hot 
So this one is definitely sealed. Very dull sound. The vacuum is in there. Uh, it just needs to cool down. And it will cool down overnight. It does not need to be refrigerated. And once it's cooled down, I'll take this, this one off. This one will come off. We don't need it on sealed cans. And uh, I'll label it and put it in my pantry. Uh, it's good. This cream cheese actually is good at least 18 months. Uh, some people keep it longer. It doesn't matter. Again, it's vacuumed. So I've heard people say that they keep it up to three years. Some do it up to five years. I don't know if I'm going to keep it for five years or if it's going to last for five years because we always eat cream cheese. But 13 jars, 13 jars of cream cheese is a great stash. Um, tomorrow or maybe a day after tomorrow, I'm going to be doing potatoes and I'll do a video on that too. Um, I'm a new canner. I'm very new to this. I like it. I'm in my element and I will be sharing with you all of my um, activities with canning department right here. Anyway, for tonight, I'm done. I'm taking my work clothes off and I wish you guys a good night. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to message me. I'm dirty, uh, but I'm happy and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.